I am Jim Collison, and this is Gallup's Call to Coach, recorded on May 18th, 2022. Call to Coach is a resource for those who want to help others discover and use their strengths. We have Gallup experts and independent strengths coaches share tactics, insights, and strategies to help coaches maximize the talent of individuals, teams, and organizations around the world. If you're listening on our live page, which today would be a miracle, but there's a link right above me there to the YouTube instance that has the chat room. If you've made it to the YouTube instance and you haven't signed into chat, get that done. We'll be taking your questions live during the program. If you are listening to the recorded version and you have questions after the fact, you can always send us an email, coaching at gallup.com. Don't forget to subscribe on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube with the subscribe link that is right below. Austin Solentrop is our host today. Austin is a Clifton Strengths Community Manager, uh, Channel Manager for Gallup. And Austin, always great to have you here. Welcome back. Thank you very much, Jim. It's a pleasure to be here. Like I said, I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, we've been talking about uh, the, the topic today for, for quite a while. And so to be able to share with you all um, a little detail, a little insight into the new Clifton Strengths for Sales report. And so today is consider this the official kickoff launch introduction of this, right? So for those of you um, who I don't know, we and there are new people joining us every single time we host one of these. And we're hoping that this content reaches people who have not joined us before. Um, again, my name is Austin. I get the really cool pleasure of leading our global strategy for all things related to strengths, right? So my, my mission and calling in life is to grow the adoption of the strengths-based mindset. I mean, how much better does it get, right? And so part of how we do that is thinking about the tools, the resources, and the products we create that make strengths more practical. And one of the most tangible ways you can make strengths practical is connecting it to the day-to-day -day life of a role. How do I live this out every day? I think back to, um, you know, I spent about four years training coaches and certifying coaches uh, to be strengths coaches. And I would teach our, our, our coach course. And we, I would draw this um, continuum, if you will, on, the, on a whiteboard or a flip chart. And I'd talk about talent and strength. And that talent is that potential, right? It's that ability that sort of instinctive ability you have to do something. And that's sort of, that is inherent to your soul. It is who you are. You can't turn talent on or off. You either have it or you don't. It is embedded in who you are. But when you transform talent into a strength, you have proven it in performance. You have pre created near perfect performance consistently at something. That's taking your soul and applying it to your role. And that shift from a, like that connection point is what we strive to do with this series of role-based reports that we've created. It started last year when we created the Clifton Strengths for Managers report, which believe it or not was like one year ago. We launched that almost this exact same time a year ago. And so today I'm, I'm going to walk you through the next in our series of role-based reports, which is our, our Clifton Strengths for Sales report. And at the, at the core of this, this statement is something I've probably heard a thousand, two thousand times from, from people, which is something to the effect of, hey, I love strengths. This is awesome. It makes sense. But what do I do next? Like, what do I do with it? How do I, how do I apply it? That's what we're trying to aim at. That's what we're trying to solve is helping bring strengths into the day-to-day -day lives of the key roles in our organization. So we have the manager role from last year, and now we're, we're aiming strengths at the day-to-day -day life of a salesperson. And that salespeople are critical to any success in any organization, right? So let's walk through a little bit about this report. Let's make sure you're comfortable with it and understanding that without customers, no organization can sustain right? No organization can exist without customers and salespeople are our conduit to customers, right? So uh, just like the manager report, you'll see this sales report is laid out in the same template, okay? So it's going to it's gonna look and feel very similar. It is designed to be a very tactical tool. So the language in this report is going to be direct. It's going to be very straightforward. Uh, it's going to get straight to what we think the actions should be. Uh, it is going to focus on the top 10 themes, right? So similar to the manager report, 
Um, we are not trying to build a replica of the 34 report here. You, you know, when we're thinking about the tactics of a role, we don't want to overwhelm users with the full developmental toolkit of a 34 report. We want to give them guidance, advice, actions that are aimed at their strongest talent sets. Uh, you will have two pages of theme content for each theme, uh, and then there will be a resource on the back, uh, the back end of it to help in the application of strengths in this role, right? So again, laid out very similarly to what um, what we did uh, previously, you'll see three um, help statements. How does this theme help contribute to success in this role? And then but the bottom of that first page, you'll see three ways that that theme may get in the way of success. Think of these as helps and hinders, right? We bold, sort of we highlight the help statements and then we have the hinder statements below in white. Look, we're still strengths based, right? We want to call attention first to how this helps, but we don't want to ignore how it may get in the way. So we provide uh, guidance there for that for each theme like that. The second page of each theme's content are going to be four action items, right? So go do this, try this, put this into practice. And the bottom of that second page are two theme specific reflection questions. So questions that are tailored at that theme to help uh, the, the individual process and synthesize a little bit of what they've just read. Okay. So this, these two pages are unique to each theme. So each user is actually going to get uh, 20 pages of theme specific content. Now, if you have significance, your two pages will look the same as anybody else's two pages with significance. These are not insight statement content, meaning it's not personalized to you based upon your 34 themes. It is standard based upon um, the, the role applications and what we found from this. We do that very intentionally, okay? There's a couple reasons why, and I'm going to call this out because I know I'm going to get asked about this. <laughs> One, when we write content through the lens of a role, it has a higher likelihood of feeling personalized. When we, when we launched the manager report a year ago, I was blown away at how many people thought their reports were personalized content, that it was unique, that their pages were different than other people's. Because the theme is being applied in a, day, in a setting that I live every day, it feels unique to me, okay? So that's one. And two, it allows us to translate this content quicker and get this out in multiple languages faster. So I'll talk it here in a, in a minute about what languages we're offering and, and when you can expect those. But we are writing this content. The, the content lift, if you think about, is significantly less if we, don't, if we can write standard content, which enables us to take this tool worldwide. We prioritize globalization over personalization. Okay? So that's sort of the, the key sort of core content that you'll see in this report. And then we, re we duplicate that for each of the top 10 themes, right? So you'll see this report is going to have vibrance. It's going to be colorful. It's going to feel uh, fresh and good, just like the manager report, just like the 34 report. You'll see the, the DNA strand sort of imagery throughout, really sharp looking thing. It's much more modern than our, our sort of traditional reporting of black, gray, and green. We're really excited about this, okay? But then at the end, look, it's amazing how the single greatest invention in humankind, the wheel, continues to find new and simple ways to be used. This strengths wheel page is a really effective application, which is simply um, a page at the end for somebody to think about a goal they have, something they're working on. Write that goal in the middle. Put that at the center of it. We pre-populate this wheel around it with, a, with the individual's top tens top 10 themes, and we ask them, how will you use your strengths to reach this goal? And how will you know you've been successful? Simple coaching questions that you all know, right? Simple things that help them process and come up with actions. They are walking away with 40 potential actions from their report content. What we're having them do here is commit to something. Commit to the first step towards this goal. Our vision here is that this can become sort of that, that page that gets printed off, you know, uh, time and time again, but depending upon what project, what, what goal, what client, what pursuit they're on, that this can be something that they are leveraging as a way to put into, put into practice uh, their, their report every day. So that, that's the report content.
We're, we're, we're really excited about it. It's um, about ready to, to be launched here in the next week or so. So um, that's the content that you'll see there. It is only available in Gallup Access. It's really important. So if you are um, one of our education clients that is working on Clinton Strings for Students, it's not available on that platform, right? Um, it is available only in Gallup Access. Um, it is being launched in English, but later this summer, you see there the languages that we were, we we're actively translating. And as soon as we get those translated, I'll, I'll have a, a clearer timeline for you. But we're following the same process we followed last year with the manager report. So in the next couple of months, we'll be following with these. And you'll see there, I, I've got another language there added at the end in, in, in italics. We are excited to bring this language. We're excited to launch this report in Polish as well. Polish is, a, is one of our fastest growing languages uh, we see a tremendous amount of growth and demand from Poland itself, but also from the, the surrounding region of people who are asking for Polish. So we're very excited to enter this uh, report into the world with Polish being available. I, so I know that we have some friends uh, joining us live using the translator into Polish, which gets me excited. So there's a hopefully a, a good news nugget for you today. Um, from a pricing perspective, what, do you, what can you expect? It's the same structure we did with the manager's report. Oh, in fact, I think I, I included the manager's report title there instead of sales report. It's the same uh, pricing, right? So you have two options. Buy the code by itself. So $39.99 US will give you this report, the Clinton Strengths for Sales report. Uh, $79.99 US will include the sales report plus the, the 34 code, okay? So you get uh, um, sort of that there. That's the bundle cost. The certified coach discount. So if you are a Gallup certified strengths coach, your discount code does apply to both of these uh, approaches, right? So you can apply your, your discount there. Excited to, to, to bring that to you as well. But we're not launching just a report. I think that's always the, the thing about this. When we think about Clip to Strengths for sales, how do you help salespeople? What in particular is needed for sales? You can't just give a salesperson a report and expect their lives to change, right? Um, we have to have su supporting tools. So we have given... Um, you all, some tools to as coaches and as uh, consumers out there and, and clients out there, um, several things we'll, we'll share all these with you. Um, one is sort of our sales overview, sort of what's in this report, what's the approach, what's the background. We have some client testimonials included in this. We have a pricing grid, what are the different ways you can, you can purchase this, what comes with it, all of those kinds of details, right? Um, those will all both, we'll get these posted to the certified coach resource page. Uh, as well as these will be available on our website uh, when you um, once the product launches here in the, in, in the next week or two. We also have a sample report. It's the same structure of sample as we did for the manager report in that you have sort of the in, two introductory pages. We give the, the first theme to sort of demonstrate the, the content for significance. And the final page has sort of a summary of everything else that's included. That again will be available uh, on the Certified Coach resource page uh, for, for all of you. But then as coaches, right, how do you use this in coaching? <laughs> how does this report fit? Put together a couple page guide on how this can be used as a tool in the sequence of coaching conversations. How does this fit into um, some of that, that broader, broader discussion, right? So again, we'll post this to the certified coach resource page for you. Our hope is that those of you who are having conversations with people in sales roles can see that this is not just um, a rehash of existing content. Every line of this report was written new and fresh for this. You will not find this content anywhere else. Okay. So this was, this was customized content written, <clears throat> excuse me, for this report, never seen anywhere else before. Okay. So, um, that's, that's the, the stuff I wanted the, the slides I wanted to show Jim, I'm going to, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and just talk for a minute. Um, and, and, address a couple of things. And I, I have not looked at the, the, the chat room yet for, for questions. I'm sure there's questions. But a couple of things that go into why we think salespeople was the next role to make sense for us. And when we started with managers, it was an easy, an easy jump to make from for, with strengths to managers. We've been talking about the importance of managers for decades at Gallup, right? And we have lots of expertise. When we thought about where we went next in terms of what's the next most important role in any organization beyond the manager, salespeople are really 
the most critical role in growing a customer base. And what we have heard from our client feedback, from our polling, from our interactions in the marketplace ourselves, from our own teams, the, the sales market is so different today. The landscape has changed so much. I was with a group just yesterday and they're used to being able to go on site and, and do what I call gripping and grinning, shaking hands, spending time socializing, um, taking people out to dinner, bringing lunches by, by, by offices and, and leaning on a, an approach to building relationships and cultivating sales that has worked for years. They don't have those opportunities anymore. The landscape has changed. They are having to think about how they sell differently. And if there's an ever a way that's going to help people reinvent how they sell, doing it through their strengths is the way. How do you leverage your strengths to rethink how you sell? That's the goal here. And we understand um, that we have a tool here that we believe will really revolutionize that for people. That if, if they can understand how to leverage their strengths in that process, uh, they're going to be far more successful. So I, I wanted to, to make sure you all know um, from a research, look, we're Gallup, we research everything, right? Um, we know that there is a market out there for this. We know that there are salespeople right now looking for tips and tricks and shortcuts on how to be better. And they're willing to spend time learning about that. And that is um, an opportunity for us to provide tools. And for you all out there that are um, inside organizations, realizing that your sales teams are probably asking you for help already. And if not, they're asking somebody. They're asking somebody for help. Those of you who are independent coaches, I guarantee either you yourself are thinking about how you can grow your business and how you can sell more effectively, or you're working with people who are salespeople themselves, right? So that's what we're we're excited to, to offer this new tool in the toolkit. Um, so I'm going to stop my my rambling. I'm at my 15, 20 minute mark, like I thought I would. Um, and now let's spend some time answering questions, so hearing what's on your mind. Austin, just for those regulars who come to Call to Coach, I probably will not be able to show the questions like I normally do. We just have too many and we're getting a lot of the same ones. So I'm going to sure. ask you guys live to listen very, very carefully. And as we roll through these questions, if we haven't answered your question by the end, I'm going to have you re-put it in the chat room just so we can do that. And we can come around to it. Okay, let's get some basics down because not everybody mm -hmm. was listening. Some folks kind of came in late. When does this become available and when does it launch? June 1. I probably should have said that. June 1, <laughs> June 1 of 2022, just for yep. folks listening. Uh, if you're it's listening, two, after, it's just, just about two weeks away. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Chances are, as you're listening to this, unless you're live, it's probably launched. Um, <laughs> yeah. Point. Let's talk a little bit about the pricing because I think w we worked through this and you mentioned the slide. It just like the Cliff and Strengths for Manager report, but not everybody, um, mm -hmm. you know, not everybody purchased that. Yep. And then there's always confusion about upgrades and some of those kinds mm -hmm. of things. We've made this pretty simple. So can you walk yeah. through the pricing uh, one sure. more time for folks? So $39.99. United States dollar, all right? So $39.99 US gets you the Clifton Strengths for Sales report. If you have completed the assessment already, you just redeem the code, it unlocks the report, okay? Same price. Same price. Same price. If you have not completed the assessment yet, right? If the individual purchasing has not, they are invited to take the assessment and they get this report and they get their standard top five reports, okay? You do not get a top five code and this code. Right. So it's not like you buy this and you can, oh, well, they've already taken the assessment. So I get this extra top five code over here. No, it is. If you have completed the assessment, you just unlock this. If you have not completed the assessment, you're invited to take the assessment. Okay. You can bundle it with a 34 report. That's look, that's the best value. It's the best experience. The 34 report remains our flagship um, key developmental tool without a doubt. So we give a little bit of a discount if you bundle this with the 34 report. You can buy that for $79.99 US. Okay? If you are a certified coach, you can apply one of your, your, your ability to buy codes at a discount to either of those code types, to the, the, the standalone report or the bundle with the 34. 
in Austin, there had been a question, I think Jennifer asked that, about converting um, other codes into mm. uh, into this. I think at this time we're not doing that, but anything else that you want to add to that? Yeah, I think any any special sort of unique requests like that, contact either your Gallup, your Gallup team, if you have a, a salesperson or a consultant you work with, or uh, reach out to us directly. We uh, That's not something we, we generally like to do. Um, it, it requires a, a lot of manual effort on our end that can lead to mistake in, in, in time. So we generally, that's not something we approach, but um, we'll certainly talk to you about what can do. Yep. Lots of questions about getting a sample of this. So how would mm -hmm. I go about, as of June 1st, how would I go yep. about getting a sample of this? There will be a sample report on our website. Okay, so we will we will put a uh, a sample of this out there. Uh, certified coaches will post that to the certified coach resource page as well for easy housekeeping for all of you. Um, let me, if if you want, I can sort of pull my screen back up and um, show you what the sample looks like um, to make sure we're all clear on what the, what's going to be included in that sample. So. There you go, Jim, if you'll throw that screen up there real quick. There you go. So here, here's what the sample report will look like. <laughs> because it is standard content, right? We're not going to publish a full version of a sample because that would be over a third of the IP would be out there uh, in, in a sample report having 10 themes, right? So we have the, the two introductory pages and then the first theme which is significance. This, this is every, again, a nugget I repeat every time I talk about sample reports. Anytime you see a sample from us that shows Don Clifton's name at the top, that's actually Don Clifton's results. Okay. So Don, who created the assessment, um, these are his results. We use him for all of our samples. Um, so you see his first theme was significance. So we will show what the content looks like for significance. And then the last page of the sample is uh, sort of an overview of everything else, what the rest of the content would look like. So again, this will be available publicly as well as on the Certified Coach resource page um, for you to see. Available June 1st. Just available June 1st. By the way, the I've been putting this in chat, but the Certified Coach page is gallup.com slash certified coach. We, we try not to make that too difficult to remember. So <laughs> gallup.com slash certified coach, and that'll be available for you. If you're new to this and you missed the whole manager rollout last year, there's actually a lot of resources around. Like we kind of copied what we did for the manager report for this report from a resources standpoint. So there'll be, there's some, there's some, some tools around how to coach with the manager report that are available out there. So if you haven't, mm -hmm done that and then since i have the ear of so many certified coaches in the the directory page is also updatable there's a form if you want to update your coach's directory i guess this is the number one question i get all the time how do i mm -hmm. update the coach's directory gallup.com slash certified coach section one there's a form to get that done right there mm -hmm. um austin um you talked about uh globalization versus personalization mm -hmm. yeah. manager report is also standard uh, any thoughts? I got a few questions about, yeah. will we personalize these in the future? And I know you and I can't predict the future, but some thoughts on that. Um, okay. So this is anybody who knows me and any, uh, anybody in the audience who has attended these live in the past knows I have a tendency to, uh, with, I've got high futuristic uh, to overshare, right? So I'm going to very intentionally not overshare here and say, yeah, we would love to. <laughs> We would love to create um, fully personalized versions of both of these. And if we feel like that is a, a true need, then we would prioritize it. We don't feel like that need is there quite yet. We feel like there's a tremendous runway for the standard content versions of these first uh, before we go there. But I do think that's something I can absolutely see in the future. Um, is that future two years from now or 10 years from now? I don't know. I think that um, the the parallel I draw is, you know, when we first created the assessment, um, StrengthsFinder, the first reports were standard content. It was StrengthsFinder 2.0, the second version, the update to it, that created the personalized content. When we And then we had a 34 report. And the first 34 report was just a listing of 34 themes. And the second version was this beautiful masterpiece of the full 34 report we have now. I very much see this as the same evolution. The first version of these role-based reports, standard content. Yes, I'd love to see a, a second version that are personalized and more robust and get to some more details. When is the question? And when, when do we see the demand and the need for it? So 
I, I hope that answers the question. Yeah, I, I can absolutely see a future of it, but I can't predict that to be two years from now or 10 years from now. Um, but having high futuristic, um, I absolutely see that. Uh, what about the the development of the report? How did we develop this? You talked a little yeah. bit about the why, I think, earlier in the conversation, but how, how did we do it? And, and talk a little bit, uh, maybe a little inside baseball, so to speak. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That. There's there's nothing more antiquated American than the phrase inside baseball, where baseball is like the least popular American sport right now, even though I'm a huge baseball fan. Um, thanks, for so, call, thanks for calling me out. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, no, it's what friends do. Just kidding. <laughs> um, it's what friends do. So how do we create this report? One of the things that many people may not know about Gallup is we have an entire section of our business that for decades has been involved in the selection and the hiring um, of people for organizations where we interview and give it, give recommendations on hiring for, uh, for companies. Many of those roles we have worked with over the years have been in the sales capacity. So we have been helping advise organizations on who to hire for sales roles for decades. What that allows is that allows an expertise in knowing what great salespeople sound like. What are what are their what are their behaviors? What do they do differently? How do they how do they stand out from the average? And so we we actually when we created this report, we were able to leverage some of that institutional knowledge, as well as actually get some of those experts who have been conducting those interviews and and consulting with leaders on on the hiring decisions literally for 25, 30 years to help write the content of here's how, here's how we see great salespeople leverage achiever. And here's how we see great salespeople struggle with achiever. And so that was one of the ways we started with our research orientation, scientific data around what we know the best do differently. So the actual, you know, organic write, writing the content, that's where it began. It goes through the entire uh, review process of, of myself and our writing team and Jim Asplund from a science perspective of everybody. We review this thing. It takes us, you know, months upon months upon months to write this content. Uh, and then we share it with clients and get feedback from clients around how we've positioned things, how things resonate or don't resonate. Um, and so I think that it's gone through many layers of review, uh, many layers of feedback and it begins in a place of, again, like everything we do, what do the best do differently? How do we, how do we translate that into content that can be digestible by a large audience? Uh, and so that's sort of the, the, the basis of it. I do, I do see a couple comments in the chat that are coming up about this, the connection of this to maybe our, the book we have out there called Strengths Based Selling. Yeah. And I really, I, I love, I'm glad those questions came up. This is written completely independent of that book. So you will not see any reference in this report to the book Strengths-Based Selling. Okay? If you have read the book Strengths-Based Selling, you'll see how you can leverage the content of this report to, to put into practice what, what that, that book talks about. But we wanted to write this agnostic of any other structure or construct or, or resource. We wanted this to be it, sort of make it standalone on, um, by itself and be a value add. So um, there are not right now any direct connections between the book, right? So um, there's no plan right now to update that book, to rewrite that book. Again, right now there's not. That does not mean we won't in the future. It just means you, you, there's not going to be any uh, resource around this book published, uh, you know, in June. <laughs> I think that's an important uh, thing thing to know. So. And the code, it's not like when you buy the book, the code for this is in the book, like our other, um, like our other reports, still top five yep. in all our books. And then this is an upgrade report to that um, as well. Um, Austin, one more reminder for individuals, uh, mm -hmm. maybe just kind of coming in. I have top five already. H how do I, how do I upgrade? Do I, and do I need to take the assessment again if, if I'm doing this? You, there's no need to take the assessment again. Okay. Um, I get asked, that's a question I get asked every day of my life. And I'm <laughs> completely, I, I, lo I love talking about this because the only time you should take, feel the need to take the assessment again is if you really feel like you want to take the assessment again. <laughs> okay. Like that's, that's the, that's the driver of that. Um, with, with, if you have your top five already, or even if you have your 34 already, 
If you buy the code for $39.99 and you redeem the code into your account, it will automatically unlock this report. It'll show up on your, on your dashboard under your reports like anything else would, right? So you don't have to, to retake it or anything along those lines. If you are managing codes for somebody else, so you buy the code and you send it to them, you send them the email, the code, they click on it, they redeem it, they're good. Um, $39.99 US for the report by itself, $79.99 for the report plus the 34 report. Just a single price and a single purchase. It's pretty easy. We're trying. Pretty easy to remember. Yeah, same and same as the manager report. Just so we're trying to make that super easy. I know for some folks, they the value I purchased, I bought this, but one price upgrade for everybody. And if you don't have it, if you haven't taken it before, Lisa had asked me earlier, she just wanted to confirm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do get all the top five. If you just purchase the report, you've never taken Clifton Strengths, mm -hmm. you purchase this report, it will unlock top five insight and and uh, the insight report as well as the standard report um, mm -hmm. that is there and all the resources. Also, you had mentioned only available in access, and that doesn't mean you have to have an access subscription to be able to purchase this. Correct. And, but that just means that it's only being sold and delivered and fulfilled on the access platform. Folks will come to access to take the assessment you'll purchase it through our, through the store. It'll be fulfilled mm -hmm. that way. So just a, yep. a reminder um, yep. there as well. I, I've seen a couple, I've seen a couple of questions. I, I, yeah. I need to clear, I need to clarify a couple of things. So thank you. Keep the questions coming. This is why we, we love the chat room, right? Is the target audience for this in terms of a salesperson, you'll see that this, the content of this report is written at a B2B salesperson. Okay. So that's our target is the business of business salespeople. But that does not mean it is exclusive to B2B sales. That's sort of who we had in mind when we were writing the content. Um, if you're in B2B sales, direct sales, direct to consumer type of sales, there's absolutely an application here, right? So I was a, um, those of you who know me, I, I grew up a banker, right? And I had in my lens when I was reviewing the content, how would I leverage this when I was managing my bank branches, for example? Absolutely practical application in that setting. Um, prior to my banking career, uh, I sold pizza. I was a marketing director for a pizza chain in college, right? Absolute ap applicability in that kind of a setting as well, thinking about how you grow your customer base, how you get your word out, how you build relationships. So it's going to be aimed at the key things we know salespeople have to do. The tone and the tenor of the report is going to be written with that B2B lens in mind. But by no means is it exclusive and is it going to be, you'll see phrases like clients and customers used interchangeably, for example, right? Because we know each organization has a different vernacular in how they talk about their consumers. Are they clients? Are they customers? What, that's, that's different company to company. So we use those kinds of phrases interchangeably. Um, I, I want to see if there's other questions that are coming in. Let me throw this one out to yeah. you. So it, from a, an experience standpoint, from a sales experience, report good for someone who is new to sales as mm. well as experienced? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I think that one of the things when we create these reports is with the helps and hinders section, it's fantastic awareness building, right? So awareness building can come at any stage of a career. Right, aware like there's value in being told on the front end, hey, as you're entering into this, here's what you need to be think focused on, and here's what you need to be mindful of as a as a awareness building on the front end versus hey, you've been doing this for a while, right? How has this shown up in your helping? How has this shown up to hinder you? Can be a different kind of awareness of, of calling out the blind spots where they may have more practical experience to draw upon to validate those kinds of things. Somebody who's newer in a career or entering into a career, a career, it can be fantastic to create sort of awareness before you go into it. Um, I think the action items are where I would really focus on a younger, uh, less experienced salesperson and say, as you're getting started, let's pick one of these to, to, to try out first. As you're building your routines, as you're building your clientele and thinking about you know what your process looks like as a salesperson, let's, let's apply this here. Um, so I think that, yeah, we, we want this to be uh, applicable to the whole lifetime of a salesperson. Um, and that's why when we um, share it for feedback and get feedback from our, our, uh, our users, one of the things we do is we ask, you know, 22 year old salespeople who are, who are newer in their careers. And we ask, you know, 65 year old salespeople who have 
uh, who are leading teams that have been doing this for you know 30 plus years. And we ask the range uh, in between to make sure that it is relevant uh, for people in between. And we aren't just getting one demographic of the sales force to be validating this. Austin, I have the full 34 report uh, mm -hmm. and I want to just unlock this. Is this content similar or is it completely different? Completely different. So it would be, I, it's not sharing information with 34. Nope. If I have 34 already, like the manager report, this one will be an additional add-on to that new information for folks that are in that sales role. Yep. By the way, you, you, we're going to do a webcast this summer called Everyone's a Salesperson. And I think this report can be used for everyone. Everyone yep. sells something in their yep. roles. Whether formally or informally, we all have an influencing selling role in the things that we're doing. And I, I think this report is going to be great for everyone. I know we've been focusing on salespeople, but I will show you this summer how this report is going to be great uh, for <laughs> summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Yeah. Just realize that's locationally based on uh, as well. So yep. uh, top five, just a reminder, if I currently have top five and I unlock with this report, it's going to give me a top, it's going to give me my top 10, right? Just not my top five. Correct. The report will show you your top 10. Your, your periodic table on your dashboard would show your top 10. Um, I think Steve asked a good question, and I think I'm finally to a spot where I can keep up with the chat. <laughs> Does the report offer insights on how salesperson would use their strengths mm. through all phases of the sales, such as prospecting, relationship management, all the way to close? Great, great question, Steve. So in, in the content, we don't exclusively have a, like a sales cycle, for example, that you'll see like a chart or anything along those lines. But yes, we speak to every step of the sales cycle throughout the report. So um, Achiever, for example, you may see comments in Achiever that talk to one, two, maybe three steps of the cycle, right? But then Relator later may talk about the other steps of the sales cycle. So we're not going to have each theme step or connect to each step of the, sell of the cycle. But yes, the content throughout will reference the entire sort of sales experience. So yeah, we will have, there are elements of the cycle throughout the entire thing, but we don't have, because each organization we've spoken with and worked with has little nuances to what their process is, we did not want to overtly assign one structure to it. We wanted to speak more holistically to sales. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope that answers your question, Steve. Um, but yes. Austin, talk a little bit more. So we're going to drop some resources like we did for the manager report. We're going to drop some resources for our certified coaches. Gallup.com slash certified coach is going to be that site. It'll be available on June 1st. Don't, don't go out there today. Well, it's not ready yet, but it'll be available here in the next few weeks. What are those really quickly again? What, what can they expect from those resources again? One sales, we'll have a sample report we've talked about. The sample report is going to be out there. It's five pages. Okay. Two, you will have sort of a product overview. I would think about this like our classic sales flyer, right? What's the report? What's included? A few client quote testimonials from feedback around it. You'll have a pricing grid that shows and breaks down very clearly the different price points where, where you can buy this, what comes with what. And then the fourth is for our coaches who are using this in one-on-one -on -one coaching. How does this report fit into our coaching model? What in the four conversations you have? How does this fit into each step? What are some questions you can ask around this to help um, leverage the content of the report? So those four things are the primary. Um, but then I'm going to add a fifth resource that's not being published, but is out there. And I'm going to say it's all of the content we're creating to support the connection of strengths to sales. So Jim, as always, is always putting out new, new webcast content. So there are webcast series on this. There are going to be new articles that are being published to gallup.com. Um, we've already published one. We have another one coming out June 1 uh, that I'm helping to write uh, around why we wrote this report, some of the findings, some of the research behind it. Um, and then uh, Jennifer Robeson and Jody Van Osdell, who are two of those experts I talked about that, are, that actually helped contribute to writing the content of this report, um, talking to, uh, write, write an article as well. So there's things like that that are happening. Aside from strengths-based selling, right? The book that exists out there that can help connect the dots. If you are, I, I think it would be a tremendous miss on my part if I was not really clear about this one, next point. If you are curious about how this fits, all right, how does this report fit to everything else we do? How do I connect the dots with the book and with sales teams? Brian Brim, 
Dr. Brim, who is the author of Strengths Based Selling, is leading a, a breakout at the summit on this this exact topic. So he is he is a dedicated set um, breakout at, at the at the Strength Summit coming up in a couple of weeks, the first full week of June, it's June seventh and eighth. Um, that he is leading on strengths based selling. He is going to reference this new report. He's going to talk about how it fits in and connects. So if, that's a chance not only to hear and learn from Brim, who is incredible and fantastic, but also to ask questions and engage uh, and be a part of that. So if if you haven't yet <laughs> signed up, I know we have you know nearly three thousand people already who have signed up for the summit. Yeah. Um, if you haven't yet. Hopefully that may be what puts you over the top. Uh, if you're curious about this, it's a tremendous opportunity uh, to, to do that. I think there'll be a great chance to learn. Um, at that point, the report will be live. It'll be uh, published. You'll have the chance to get yours and, and, and sort of look at it alongside. I think I was this team I was with yesterday, um, we were talking about this and we're talking about all other things. And, and I, I, I will, I'll, my last unsolicited comment, and then we'll, we'll make sure we <laughs> answer any other questions. The single best way to be able to speak with confidence and sell this content and this report, to be able to leverage it and use it, is to have a personal experience with it, right? So I encourage you, make the investment in yourself of getting this report, looking through it, reading it, finding how you resonate with it, uh, and then think about how you can leverage it with your clients. It's hard to, to process this in the abstract, right? June 1, it's out there, it's live, get it, download it, look at it speak to it then uh, with your clients and the teams you support. Just a reminder, uh, gallupatwork.com to register for the summit. You've got, as of this recording, you've got a couple of weeks to get that done if you want to join us. That is the only way to get that content from the summit. We'll be not, we will not be making that generally available. That session that's Brian, that Brian is doing uh, will be available just as part of the summit. It will be recorded and available for 90 days for those purchasing that. It's 195 great price for everybody. Um, Austin, you mentioned this is only going to be available in Gallup Access, which means not Strengths Quest. Any mm. thoughts to educational pricing uh, around this? I, I don't know if there's anything we can talk about. Ben, that's yet. a great question. Um, not currently, but that doesn't mean we can't explore it. So, Ben, if you wouldn't mind, um, let's connect. Let's connect and talk about, about, your, about your use case so we can explore that. I think the um, – yeah, let's talk. Let's talk. It's a fair question. But, no, there's not plans out of the gate at, on June 1. And yes, Phyllis, those summit sessions, If you but you have to make the summit purchase, will be available 90 days after the summit is over. Debbie uh, says, if I've coached someone on the manager report mm. who is in sales, then I have them purchase the sales report. Will it provide enough new information oh. for coaching and what's shared or anything shared between manager and the sales report? Yeah, great question, Debbie. Completely different applications. So yes, new content. If you think about the role of a sales manager, <laughs> which you know, we, have, we, we have not yet created a bundle for both, okay? So when I talked about the bundles earlier, it's you can buy a bundle of a manager report in a 34 or a sales report in a 34. We do not have a bundle with everything, okay? So the manager report is gonna be very focused on them and their relationship to their team, right? The sales report is gonna be very focused on them and their relationship to the customer. And so the applications, the tone will be similar. The layout will be exactly the same. Um, and then the application tool in the back will be the same. But the focus of the content will be distinctly different. There will be no, there will be no copy and paste between the two other than that last page, the strengths wheel, right? The strengths wheel will, will be the same because it's an application tool, but the, the 20 pages of theme content will be inherently different. Uh, one last question. Will we provide a sales deck for this so the coaches can can sell? You know, we have um, mm. we, we have a sales deck kind of associated with the with the with the coaching course, a one PowerPoint presentation that folks can use. Are, are we providing similar resources? I don't think we did that for the manager report. We but didn't. your thoughts, Austin? Yeah, that, that's honestly that's the first time I've heard that direct question in terms of like um, needing sales resources like that. It's something we can look at. Uh, and explore. We don't have that planned right now. Um, so if, if that's something we feel like uh, from a community perspective would be beneficial and helpful, uh, we can certainly look at what that would look like uh, to create. But no, it's not It's not going to be ready for June 1, uh, but that doesn't mean we can't get something put together. 
Um, to All those right. certified coaches that are listening, certified coaches that are listening, I, I, I do. If you have not yet signed up for the summit, please check your, your newsletters um, that you're getting uh, as part of that. I want to make sure you understand some of the, the special things we're running for coaches at the summit around um, tools and things you get when you when you sign up. So make sure you're reading your news your newsletter. If you're not a certified coach and you're listening, um, explore whether you want to be a certified coach. There's a lot of, of benefits to it. Uh, the biggest benefit of which is you get to be interacting with Jim Collison all the time. And how well, does that not like make make your day better? Right. That's scary. That was, that's a scary proposition. I always appreciate people saying that, but Austin, okay, one, just a set of reminders as we kind of finish one. There's been some summit-related questions okay. uh, in the chat as well. Contact our summit team, gallop at work at gallop.com. Head out to the setup, the, the setup, setup page. The site page for that, gallop at work.com is the way to get that as well. That site for certified coaches, gallop.com slash certified coach. You should be asking me the question, well, if you're giving that out publicly, can't anybody get there? Yeah, for now they can. It was the easiest way to make it available. It will not always be that way, but uh, uh, but for now, those resources available um, out there uh, as well. And remember, this goes live on June 1st, sample report and all those things are out there. I'd encourage you to take some time to work through this. We won't have a deck available for you on day one, and so maybe take some of the things that uh, that you see in the sample and, uh, and and work those into your own presentations. You've all modified it anyways. Mm -hmm. And so uh, work that into your own presentation. And uh, we want to thank you for coming out today. A couple reminders. Uh, visit uh, gallup.com. If you haven't been out there in a while, this may be the time to go out and get that done. If you haven't looked at the manager report as well, we spent a lot of time talking about that last year. Mm -hmm. It may be time for you to revisit both the manager and the sales report as you think about your own coaching practice, these may be two brand new tools for you in a way you're like, oh, I mean, I think you can see from the chat room, we had amazing reactions on the manager report and many have used it and it's been a great opportunity. So uh, head out to gallup.com slash Clifton Strengths for coaching, master coaching, or if you want to become a Gallup certified strengths coach, or if you have any questions about anything we talked about today, send us an email coaching at gallup.com. They'll route that to Austin and I. So we can answer those um, for you. Of course, you can find us on any social platform by searching Clifton Strengths, and they're doing a bang up job out there of getting a lot of a lot of materials and information. Certified coaches, we just sent you a whole bunch to celebrate International mm -hmm. Coaching Week, International Coach Week. Coach I think week. that's Coach Week. Um, it's it, a focus it's, on the coach, not Coach Ian, not the athlete. Right. It's the person who's the coach. We uh, provided a a bunch of um, a bunch of stuff that you can use and share out there as well. If you're not getting the certified coaches newsletter uh, and you are certified, send us an email coaching at gallop.com. I just have so many of you. I want to make sure we get all these things in. We want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you're listening to the recorded version of this again, well, actually, I, I'm going to recommend everybody go out. Just this will just go into replay as soon as we're done. Just go listen to it again because. I bet you missed something. We want to thank you for joining us. I look forward to hearing from all of you in the next week or so. With that, we'll say goodbye, everybody.